A lot of schools these days are arming their guards, some of them with tasers. And Anna Werner has been looking into this. This security video from Cedar Creek High School in Bastrop, Texas, captured what happened when an officer shot 17-year-old Noe Nino de Rivera with a taser. He'd come to break up a fight. Instead, he was knocked to the concrete floor. Police said he disobeyed their orders. His head hit so hard he required emergency surgery for a severe brain hemorrhage, then spent 52 days in a medically induced coma. Jesus is his brother. What are the things that he cannot do now? He cannot talk the way he used to talk. He cannot walk the way he used to walk. He cannot think the way he used to think. Officers from at least 5,000 law enforcement agencies carry tasers in schools. No one tracks how often they are used on students, but we found 20 reported examples since 2012. Tasers and pepper spray are being used to break up school fights or to de-escalate uh, school fights. Deborah Fowler is with Texas Appleseed. Her legal aid group supported a Texas bill that would have banned the use of tasers in schools. There are other opportunities to de-escalate that don't pose the same dangers that certainly tasers uh, pose. <laughs> she points to confrontations like this, in which officers stepped into fights and used tasers on students. Since 2005, legislators in at least four states have proposed banning taser use in schools. In Texas, the state's largest police union opposed any ban. Charlie Wilkerson is I'm the union's executive there, so. director. Did your group study the potential hazards of tasers or stun guns on adolescents and their bodies before opposing this legislation? No, we studied what would happen to cops if you had open season on them without all their weapons. So the answer is no, you didn't study the effects on adolescents. We're not advocating on behalf of children. We're advocating on behalf of real live licensed trained peace officers who risk their lives every day. We found a half dozen reports of officer injuries in schools since 2012. But knowing Nino de Rivera's family believes students face a greater risk. The teen is now in a brain rehabilitation center where he's expected to stay another six months. Anna Werner, CBS News, Bastrop, Texas.